everyone. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the thesis dissertation submission process session. My name is Michelle Jones. I am the Education Liaison Librarian and Head of Record Services in the library. So today we're just going to go over a few things regarding how to submit your thesis or dissertation. So basically, the first thing is to submit a thesis or dissertation submission approval form. So this essentially gives you permission to publish in ePress. So ePress is the library's or the institution's institutional repository. So the links available from the library website currently do not link to the DocuSign form or to what you see here, but that is currently under construction, so we are working on that. So to find the correct form, you can either copy this link, and of course I can give it to the administrators to make sure that you have this link, or you go to the library's website, which is library.columbusstate.edu, and type in dissertation in the site index, and then it will link you to this page. So if you see here right under download, it says thesis or dissertation initial approval form. You click download, that will take you directly to the approval form. And also you can um, choose access the thesis dissertation submission approval form here. And the link goes to a DocuSign form. So once you click on that, this is what will come up. So this is the DocuSign form, this is page one. So you will fill in your name and then fill in your email address. And then depending on if it's the thesis or dissertation, you will enter in the advisor or the honors dean, whichever is pertinent to you. So that's the first page. Then once you click that, you'll go to the second page. And this will ask for more information. So it's gonna have your name there, and then your 909 number, major, degree name, and then the document title. And then in the middle of the page, you see there that you have an option regarding the thesis and dissertation release. So you can choose number one, which will make it immediately available to the public once you submit it so that anybody can see it. And that would be under a Creative Commons license or you can choose to have an embargo and that will restrict public access for two years. So let me just explain more about what the embargo is. So the embargoes are restrictions that allow only the title, the abstract and the citation information about your dissertation or thesis to be released to the public. That the full text of the work would be kept hidden for this specified period of time, which you see here says two years. Now, if you do choose that option, it does require that you give written justification for that choice. And then once you've chosen those one of those two items, then the date and the time of whenever you're doing this, that will automatically pop up. And then once you click there, your signature um, will come up into the system. So you're going to click to sign that and then it's going to be routed to the next person in line based on what you put on that first page of who it will go to next for the signature. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, then the second part would be to submit the completed signature page in a PDF. And all of these documents are going to be in PDF. So your committee chair or someone else on the committee will send that to Paul Ruff, and his email address is here. So this is the Fairchild Communication at the library, Ruff underscore Paul at formstate.edu. That will be sent to that person. And then the last thing you would do would be to submit a final copy of your thesis or dissertation, also in PDF, to Paul Ruff via email. So when this is submitted, this version must be complete with no revisions needed. So everything should be correct on this. Because the library does not edit the thesis or the dissertation, we only post what we receive. So those are the three main steps. So now I want to give you a little bit more information about the process. So title. 
when you put in the title anywhere, make sure that you put the complete title in there and the standardization regarding the capitalization, uh, anything regarding subtitle, all that information needs to be complete. The name. Sometimes we hear that people wanted their middle name to show up in the record. So you need to make sure that everything that you want on there is listed and submitted you know, on that form or in the, make sure that you put it on the title page if you want it to be included in the record form. Once the thesis is received, then Paul Love notifies the registrar. As far as how long it takes to post an egress, so you realize that there are multiple people, many different departments that are submitting uh, this information. So the normal time to post the thesis or dissertation in egress is approximately four months. If you need it to be posted earlier for an official reason, such as a job interview or something like that, Paul is willing to rush with notification if you tell him via email directly. So the library does not require hard copies of a thesis or dissertation anymore. If you wish to have a hard copy, we're asking that you please visit the copy center. And they are in Davidson, Stevenson, next to the bookstore. You can give them a call or you can stop by their usual hours on Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Now, in terms of revision, so if there are problems or mistakes found, after you have finished defending or once you turn it in, if you could please contact the chair of your committee, you must resubmit all corrections to the chair and the chair will send that information to follow up. Your work can be found in the e-press so it can be discoverable to others, of course. And I can tell you that once I finish this, um, you can do an advanced search and limit it to features and dissertation. And if you want more people to find it, you're asking that you please write a good abstract and add keywords into the form when you complete it. That way, when people are looking for certain subjects, they will be able to get directly to your to your work if you have it correctly. And your work can also be found in the online catalog, which is real fine by the title and the author. So I think what I'm going to do now is go to the library's website. So if we go to the library's website, library.canvasstate.edu, you can definitely go to, we got to go to the CSU press. So this is how you get to the e press, and this is the repository where you will find uh, your work. So let's see. So you can enter search terms, and here is where you can search in a repository or a repository. We're going to click advanced search here. Okay, and we're going to type in the title of this Let's do browse collections first. And then here you see all the different types of items that show up. And if you look here under student publications, you'll see thesis and dissertation showing up. I'm going to click that thesis and dissertation. And then this gives you a list of all the ones that are showing up. If you don't see the PDF, then the PDF is not yet available. And then from there, once we've gone into thesis and dissertation, then we can click on advanced search. And notice now that it says limit your search for thesis and dissertation. And here's where you can put in uh, what you're looking for and have that information to come. Okay, let's see. And if we wanted to go to the library's website, we can go to the library's website. What I was talking about with Bill Find is you can go to services and Bill Find catalog. And you can do an advanced search here. And then here is where you can put in, if you know the title, um, what you're looking for, an author. I'm still talking about thesis and dissertation. 
Um, you can put that in here and then click search and make sure that this says search for a quarter state university. And then I also want to mention what I told you concerning trying to find the trying to find the approval form from here. So because these links are not yet working regarding getting to the approval form, which I did tell the person that I mentioned to you that is being worked on, you can go to the site index and then put in dissertations or theses here. And then here's where you can do dissertations or theses, submission of trivial questions. Click on that, and then that takes you directly to the same screen that I showed you earlier. Click download here. And then that's going to bring you to the link. It's going to bring this open, and then you will have to download that particular form that I showed you about earlier. And that will take you to the form. And then you're also welcome to read any of these things related to the publishing guide. But I want to make it simple for you, but you can read more about the e-press publishing guide, people ask questions, the uh, list of executions, and any of those things. And as you can see, this is also listed here as a Freddie Common title. So those are the basic things that I wanted to mention to you. Do you have any questions or anything that I need to explain a little bit further. No questions. Sure, I should be able to do that. I can send it to those who uh, have. Uh, worked on the writing sheet and we can get that information to you. Anything else? Okay, I'll write that down. Just to okay. Ms. Ivy, do we need to do anything else? Well, thank you so much for attending today's session. I hope that you were able to receive something from it, and I will make sure that you get the slide if you like to have those. Thank you so much.